Extreme Outer Limits is presented by Night Force Optics. Precision optics for precision shooting. They're kind of the same color as these rocks. Oh, they are. They blend in really well, especially like if they're on the side of one of those hills that's brown. Or... Yeah. They're like that sandy, sandy tan color. Is, is this canyon right here? Yeah, it goes the length. It goes from the river. Are we walking from all... there down or walking? Where do you we'll think? We'll probably leave the truck down here. And walk up. Because then Bobby and them said they'd pick us up on this end. OK. So that way, they can bring us back to the pickup. Warm. Oh yeah. See the world from here. Thanks for joining us on another episode of Extreme Outer Limits. It's day two down here in New Mexico on our odd ad mule deer combo hunt. Um, Jason just took his mule deer a couple hours ago. We came out to look for an odd ad now. So we're on the second portion of our hunt. I had an opportunity to hunt odd ad through our company, Broken Top Outfitters, down here in New Mexico. So we just joined up with Dwayne, the second guide, and we're looking over these big canyons, hoping to turn up some odd ad. Bob and Jason and Bobby, they're gonna be joining us later. They're coming back and hopefully we're gonna hike this canyon and they're gonna come up and meet us at the top. But anyway, we're gonna take a big look at this big canyon here, rocks. We're gonna walk on the opposite side of the shade so hopefully we can find some odd ad bedded under the shaded rocks. We saw one ewe and lamb yesterday. She looked like she was coming out of a draw over here and actually headed back towards this big canyon. So hopefully we can turn something up. So Jason and Bob just sent us this photo. They're enjoying some nice beverages and lunch. I was gonna say they're working hard, taking care of their deer, doing whatever they were doing, but looks like they're having a little fun. <laughs> Figure out yeah, where they are. There's some good shaded pockets that these guys would be in. Gosh, it makes sense for them to be right here. The water, shade, cover, everything they need. This segment is brought to you by the Night Force NX-8 4-32 by 50 rifle scope, featuring a high-speed zero-stop turret, a 30mm tube allowing for 90 minutes of adjustment, and ED glass, producing superior image quality at high magnification. The new Zeiss Victory RF laser range-finding binocular provides you accurate ranges and ballistic corrections from 11 to 2,500 yards. A fully customizable ballistics platform, Bluetooth connectivity, and a phenomenal binocular all in a compact and lightweight unit. The new Zeiss Victory RF is EOL's rangefinder of choice.
It's like Kyle right there. There's a Kyle right here at like 550 yards. 560. Yeah, 550. I might dial up on him and just make sure my gun's still tracking. He doesn't over here, so. Guns on. <laughs> All right. So he was 550 on the dot. <clears throat> I just held on the on the right side of his head because I knew the wind was doing a little bit of this. But my gun's on. I knew it was on before this, but whenever you travel, it's nice to check. The little target. All I could see was his ears and nose, and I just put it right on the this side. So he's facing me. I put it on this side of his ear and let the bullet come into him. I could see a little mirage drifting past him. Time to find an odd Well guys, just a quick update. We uh, had a slight change of plans. We were originally gonna park at the bottom of this canyon and walk our way all the way up and get picked up up here by Bob and Jason and Bobby because they went back to the house to take care of that deer, but they're not coming back out. So we decided to go check out a couple of the drainages where we saw that ewe and lamb yesterday. Um, we came out to this point that overlooks this whole deal. So um, we're sitting here glassing for now and we're gonna make our way down get another good look and circle back around to the truck. So we got about half an hour before dark, so we can, just in case we see something on the way out. Hit him right in the shoulder. This segment is brought to you by the Extreme Store, now offering optics, bullets, and accessories for all your hunting needs. For more information, visit theextremestore.us. This segment is brought to you by Trigger Tech Triggers, with the most advanced technology in the industry. Trigger Tech Triggers offer the most precise, consistent, and dependable triggers for your rifle. On the range or in the mountains. This segment of Extreme Outer Limits is brought to you by the all-new Extreme Heavy Hybrid line of Burger Bullets. Extreme, rated best in class, ballistic coefficient, heavy, delivers the greatest amount of kinetic energy per caliber. Hybrid will extend the effective range of your rifle. Go to the Extreme store to get yours today. Well guys, it's day three of our New Mexico mule deer odd combo hunt. Uh, with the mule deer down, we have a full focus on sheep now. So it's a pretty chilly morning. We're just scanning over this big rocky valley. The crew's back with us, Bob and the guys. Hopefully we can get some sheep spotted while they're on their feet in the morning, put them to bed and see what happens. I'm sure they're pretty tough to see once they get bedded in the rocks in the midday, so it'd be nice to get something spotted really while it's cool. Stay with us and we'll, we'll see what we can turn up.
Well, we've been glassing all morning. We haven't, we haven't turned any sheep up yet, but we're getting into the heat of the day. And there's this big canyon here and it just kind of S's all the way down. So it's, it's tough to see unless you just walk it. So Tim and I are, are just walking this rim down. I mean, every corner just opens up into more country. So we're gonna walk down here about you know half to three quarters of a mile, if not a little further, and just see if we can find anything bedded in the shade in these pockets. So. It's getting hot, so I'm assuming they're going to be on the opposing side from us in the shade. So that's what we're hoping anyway. We'll see. Well, we've been working these drainages down. Tim and I took a big hike around, and we hiked back and got in the ranger, and we've just been hitting different fingers that are leading, leading down into this big canyon. Um, this canyon has water in it all the way down, so we know there's not a super large population of Audet on this ranch. This ranch is pushing 30,000 acres and it's all free range. It's not easy, but they're in here somewhere, we just got to find them. See that cedar tree? The low one, Mark. The one cedar tree. Yeah. Literally to the left of it. They were. They're kind of yeah. going down the drop. Okay, so here is the deal. <laughs> Old bull, young calf. For those of you at home, when I cut the kid loose, him and Tim have been hiking every canyon possible on this ranch. Hey, what were you doing? And you there? have seen zero. I've been napping, I've been enjoying life. I let it get to evening. I walk right out and I spot you, yeah. a group of Audad with a big old ram on it and yeah. a beautiful set of chaps. So I just had to bring that up to your attention because when we signed off last, he said, oh man, these viewers, they're ready for the new young bull. <laughs> But in all reality, we do have a group of odd hat spotted. Yes, Bob spotted them. Okay. <clears throat> oh, what was that? What was that? <laughs> all right, all seriousness. So they're 1,200 yards. It's way too windy for a shot. So do you want to go to the end? I say we we'll just sneak this. down through the mesquites and get out to that. To the edge. Because yeah. it's going to be 450 ish or yeah, something from we'll, there. And we'll be fine from there. Yeah, but guess. we'll cover the whole way. Yeah. They're kind of working up in that cut, so they might get outside for a little bit. But. But yeah, I'm getting 12, 15, 20. Good news is shoot a ram. Perfect. This segment is brought to you by the Extreme Store, now offering an exclusive McMillan Game Hunter Universal Inlet Stock, capable of accepting all Remington clone actions in a wide variety of barrel contours. For more information, visit www.extremestore.us. This segment of Extreme Outer Limits was brought to you by the Extreme Shooting School, an information-packed two-day class. For more information, go to ExtremeOuterLimitsTV.com. This segment is brought to you by MOA Rifles, now offering their Extreme Series actions. Built with long-range performance in mind, MOA actions are constructed to handle the most advanced bullet and cartridge combinations on the market. For information, visit MOARifles.com. Right underneath the rim, the odd are just up and over this. They're working up a finger. We're gonna skirt our way around these cedars. We have some open stuff to go through, but there's one cedar above them we're gonna try to get to and kind of work our way over on them. We might be pretty close, but they're in a they're in a tight little finger, so it might be close quarters. They gotta be down or otherwise they would see them, so. Maybe if you see something. 
50 yards, their heads are right there. That mesquite bush right there, that distance, on the other side of it, that distance, there's more ram standing, there's a, there's a one that's standing right there. If you're thinking of backing out the circle, you know, I would, yeah. unless you want to walk at him and shoot. No, I don't want to deal with that. It's too risky for what we've been through. Okay, listen, you guys are gonna have to do it offhand. There's no version you're gonna sneak there because they're gonna be 20 yards in front of you. Yeah, but we have to see which one's which. Okay, well, it's not that one. He's gotta be right here somewhere. Do you see him? I mean, we are in their room, dude. I mean, this is extreme inner limits right here. That's the big ram. Kill that thing. That is him. Go up. He's going down. That's him going dead away. Come with me. There's no way he's going to I mean, I was just, I put it right on the shoulder. <laughs> Bad lighting. I couldn't tell the shot exactly. But the damn ram died almost instantly once it got off the flat. We're going all the way back to the top. Because he's just the first boulder off the top, rolled and wadded up, and we went right by him. These Audad blend in so well. We knew we hit him and he ran over the ridge and he disappeared. So we're looking down here and we see the rest of the herd running that way. But all he did is run about 50 yards and tipped right over, so. <laughs> Dude, you're making me nervous. I was, gonna, I was gonna get up next to the mesquite next to me and almost lean up against it. But then I was, I settled back in and I grabbed my bipod and it was rock steady. So I just hammered it. What are we talking? Like you have a better perspective. It was 60, 70 yards maybe? I just went back in range and it was 92. Oh, okay, just yeah. under a hundred. Yeah. So hey, anybody that says extreme outer limits isn't a hunting show. <laughs> and... We build these guns to shoot far, so we have close encounters. <laughs> <laughs> right? Dude, nice ram. He's got a great curl. Look at that. Yeah, he's really pretty. Uh, my first odd ad, I came into this hunt not really knowing anything about him. Bob's taken a couple, but. Um, yeah, and I knew what I was looking at just based on the amount of curl and the mass yeah. when he looked at me when you said, look. Yeah. So I knew, like, shoot right now. Stop talking to me about it. I forgot to tell you, they're kind of tough because <laughs> I don't have a lot of experience, but the experience I do, it's usually a little bit of a shootout. <laughs> well, I knew they were tough going into it, and I told myself I wanted just to put her head on his shoulder and hopefully put him down, but no, he took it. They suck it up, dude. Yeah. Beautiful. Look at the hide. He's got long hair. Look at all this red mud. I'm assuming that's from spending a lot of time down in that river bottom. Take a look at this side. Yeah, look at that. Got that really that shows side. it there. Those curl all the way in, so unless his head is down, he cannot actually turn his neck all the way because no, they stick right to him. He couldn't him. lean his head back. Because we've been working hard at this. There's not a lot of odd at around, I mean, in, from, the, from the most part. Yeah, but yeah, they're, they're spread out. Not only numbers, they blend in so well, and it's just it's tough to turn them up. They blend into these rocks. And Anyway, the boys, they worked hard. I will give you that. <laughs> Hiking canyon rims and looking and looking and looking in the draws. And uh, we had Jason's deer to deal with, so we let them get started. And then I just kind of took the lazy route this morning, like, I'm just going to enjoy the buggy and glass. And then the evening came, and I started feeling a little spunky. Yeah. I'm like, I'll get out here. I'll get out here. And pretty soon, I'm like, I got him. Yeah. <laughs> when I heard that, I was so happy. But, <laughs> no, I, this opportunity was awesome through Broken Top Outfitters. We, there's a lot of tags like this. And Bob and I talked about it, I couldn't pass it up. So. so New Mexico, private land, right? We got great tags. If you guys are interested in something uh, because you don't have enough points to draw or you just don't even know where to draw or you just want to put something solid on the schedule, just reach out to us. Um, I would say early, don't wait because everything we have gets taken up really fast. Ty, good work, man. Thanks. That 156 hammered him. Yeah. Running the 6.5 PRC in our extreme carbon alpine, shooting the 156 burger, so. All right, guys. Well, that's all the time we have. That wraps up a doubleheader New Mexico mule deer Audad. We're out of here.
Extreme Outer Limits, brought to you by McMillan Stocks, Rugged Ridge Outdoor Gear, Night Force Optics, Grip and Pull, the best bullet puller in the world, MOA Rifles, Star Valley Outfitters, and Broken Top Outfitters. And also brought to you by 